All right, so welcome back. We are working with uh, Sokotoa still, and we are looking at which ratio to use. Now, what I mean by which ratio to use is, do I use the uh, sine here from So, the cos from Ka, or the tan from Toa? Now, I'm hoping that when you guys are uh, watching this video, you are split screening again. So that Sokotoa intro video, you go to the very end of it, you pause it at the end, and it should have Sokotoa written there. It says sine, cos, or tan. It gives you the three ratios written out in full, and it explains theta, hypotenuse, opposite, adjacent. So I'm going to refer back to that, so hopefully you've got that open in the split screen. Um, so here we go. First triangle looks like this. Now, what I need to do is I always start these things off by labeling them. So, get my pencil work in here, and I'm going to label this thing. So, from here, I go from this angle, and I label the opposite to that angle. So, the opposite is over here across the triangle. The hypotenuse is the longest side, which is also opposite to the right angle. There's my hypotenuse, and that leaves this side to be adjacent. Okay, so I don't have adjacent which means I'm working with O and H. Now this is how I choose which one I'm going to use. I look at SOKOTOA. This is what this whole acronym is good for, is it tells me which one I have to use every time. So if I have an O and an H, the only one I can use here is sine. I can't use COS because it wants an A and an H, and I can't use TOA because it wants an O and an A. These suckers both have an A in it. I don't have an A, so I've got to use sine. Okay, so looking back at that other screen, what is the actual equation here? I'm going to write this down. I'm going to write down that the equation is that the sine of theta, which is the angle, remember, is equal to O over H. Okay, perfect. Now, next thing, just set up the equation. I'm going to show you guys how to solve the equation in a different video, but here's how you set it up. I take sine of the angle, and I write out sine of the angle, which is 28 degrees, cool, is equal to O over H. Now plug in. What's O? Well, in my case, it is X. And what's H? In my case, it is 12. And this, bam, is set up. So I have just set up the equation, and now all I have to do is solve for X. And if you know how to work uh, the sine function in your calculator, and you know how to cross multiply, then you just multiply the 12 up there. Multiply 12 times sine 28, bam, there's your answer. I'm not going to do that in this video, though. Uh, okay, in this video, what I am going to do is I'm going to do another one. So let's try this again. Uh, paste this in here. Here's my next triangle. Oh, I went over my lines. Good enough. I'll just draw them back in there. Squiggle, squiggle. So I separate these three examples. Okay, next. Same deal. Find your angle. There is my angle. Find the opposite to that angle. Go across the triangle. There is O. Here is H, which is X. And lastly, leaves me with A. Okay, so I don't have an O this time. What do I have? I have an H and an A. Oh, seriously, are you going to actually work through these things all in a row? Uh, yes, yes I am. Okay, so here is A and H. Where is A and H? Up here. It's right there. So because I have A and H, it's telling me I have to use cos here. Can't use tan, can't use sine, I have to use the cos ratio. So the cos ratio from that other screen says that the cos of theta. Now you don't even need that other screen really. All you need is Sokotoa. All you need to know is that cos uses A and H. And this is in a specific order. O over H, A over H, and O over A. So cos of the angle is equal to A over H. That's what you can see right from Ka there. Okay, now plug in. Plug in cos of theta. What's theta stand for? The angle. So I'm using 65. Cool. What's adjacent to that angle? Well, 7.8 is. And that's over x this time. So you can see this time that x is on the bottom. So you're going to have to solve it a little bit different. If you know cross multiplication, this multiplies up, this divides down. I'll show you that in another video. It's a little bit complicated. But anyways, you end up with 7.8 divided by cos 65, and that's your answer. Done. Now, next one. It's going to take me a couple seconds here. I'm going to copy this thing, click back on here, and paste it, and drop it. Cool. I say cool a lot, don't I? Anyways, that's because math is just so cool. Oh, brutal joke. Stop talking. Where's your angle? There it is. So, got my angle. Go across the triangle. 
Oh, I mean, you can already guess which one this is going to be, can't you? H, A, here's O, here's A, no H. Um, what the heck is going on here? I'll tell you what's going on here. I don't have the angle this time. The other thing I can do with Sokotoa, instead of just solving sides given an angle, is given two sides, I can actually figure out what the angle is. And once again, I will explain that in another video. This video is just about setting up the equations. Because setting up the equations always works the same way. I've got O and A this time, so I'm going to use tan. And the to Toa tells me, blah, 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 Toa tells me that tan of the angle tan theta is equal to O over A. So remember, these things are actually in order. So is sine of the angle is equal to O over H. Cos is cos of the angle is A over H. Sorry, that's ka. And toa is tan of the angle is equal to O over A. Okay, sub in tan of the angle. What's the angle? Well, it's just theta because I'm going to solve for it. And that is equal to O over A, which is 8 over 5. There, set up. Now, how do I solve this one? Well, I'll go into a video for it because you actually have to use tan inverse, which is tan to the negative 1. You can see it over top of your calculator there, but we'll talk about that later. As for now, I'm done.